Imagine you could generate electricity from your hands. You'd be able to power anything you want with a single touch. Now what about generating electricity with your feet or even your blood? Is it possible for your body to become a power station? Could humans replace traditional power sources? And how could this help save the planet? This is What If? And here's what would happen if we could generate electricity with our bodies. Actually, our bodies constantly conduct electricity. And it all has to do with our atoms. When we send signals through our nervous system, like our brain telling us to click on this video, that's electricity going from point A to point B. It's safe to say that without our own internal electricity, we'd be unable to do anything. But could we ever conduct electricity like this? Unfortunately, you wouldn't have lightning bolts coming out of your hands. At least not yet. That'll be a story for another what if. But you could generate electricity in other ways. And we might not have to do anything different than we're doing today. That's because using humans to generate electricity is already happening. There are modules that turn kinetic energy from people walking or dancing into electricity. These modules can be placed in high traffic areas like airports, malls, and even city streets. The idea is when you step on the module, it compresses and springs back up, powering a small generator which then creates power. Each step on one of these tiles can create up to 20 joules of power. Or, if you'd like to generate electricity while getting your sweat on, you can hop on a special elliptical bike. A fully sustainable gym in New York has eco-bikes that generate their own power. During a workout, you can create 160 watt-hours of electricity, or even more. Talking about joules and watts is fun, but what does it mean exactly? How many light bulbs, TVs, and buildings can we power? Well, unfortunately, even with an eco-bike and the steps from 1,000 pedestrians, we'd be lucky to power up a single light bulb for more than a couple of hours. Kinda lame, I know, but that's because a traditional light bulb uses about 100 watts to be powered for a full hour. So, at this rate, with us casually producing electricity like this, we're never going to be able to get rid of traditional electricity. But what if we could? What would we need to do to power the world with human-conducted electricity? Well, for this to happen, we'd need to cover every single road of every city on Earth with these energy-producing floors. In a city like Tokyo, with millions of people walking the streets every day, we'd be able to produce trillions of joules that could be converted to power entire buildings. But walking probably won't be enough. We'd also need millions of people solely dedicated to producing electricity full-time. Picture hundreds of thousands of people dancing and having 24-7 raves, attempting to produce as much electricity as possible. And if that's not your style, you could bike or run to power your buildings. This would take millions of people who would need to be paid and be in good enough shape to dance and work out for hours on end. And even if you had that type of energy, doing so for eight hours a day, five days a week would take a severe toll on your body. If all that isn't enough, we could use our poo to produce electricity. That's right, toilets are being developed right now that can convert your bathroom breaks into energy. They do it by composting your waste and oxidizing it. This releases electrons which get passed through a load-bearing circuit and then generate energy. Using humans to create electricity would seriously help the environment. A lot of traditional electricity burns fossil fuels which produce greenhouse gases that harm our Earth. Producing electricity by running and dancing while adding more wind turbines and solar panels to help us out would make the world a greener place. The human race could completely generate its own power if we were all dedicated enough. For something that might be a little bit easier but still achieve the same results, we could cover the Sahara Desert in solar panels. Uh, but you know what? That sounds like a story 
for another What If?